Filthy rich. Filthy rich, that's for sure. <laughs> All right, fellow Toastmasters, today I am going to be telling you how to become a money monster. Who's excited? Woo! Love it, awesome. And the reason I'm doing this is because everyone always asks that question over and over again. How do we become wealthy? And just as many people tell you the same exact boring answer. Stocks? Oh my gosh, look at all those numbers. These graphs, so boring. Nobody wants to do stocks, come on. Roth IRA? Guys, are we playing Scrabble? What does this word even mean? I have no idea. A 401k? Oh my gosh, I want to fall asleep just thinking about it. Everybody, say it with me. 401 learn! <laughs> No, 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 no. These are not good ways to make money. In fact, I have the secret to being wealthy. Are you guys ready? I want a drum roll, please. The secret to being wealthy is... Pokemon cards! <laughs> All right, who here has no idea what I'm talking about right now? Raise your hand. Awesome! Let me go ahead and explain to you what Pokemon cards are. So Pokemon cards are little monsters that you battle with your friends. The winner, whoever has the best Pokemon cards is the winner. And just so you guys know, there are over 700 different Pokemon. That's a lot of different Pokemon. If you don't get the one that you want, no worries. You can trade with your friends. They have a card that you like and you have a card they like, just trade them up, no big deal at all. And the best thing about Pokemon is that there's a Pokemon card for every single person. They range from incredibly cute. I mean, look at this little guy over here. He has little balloons on, he's flying through the air. He's just so cute to incredibly terrifying. This one over here is Gengar and he likes to eat dreams. That sounds a little scary if you ask me. Now, at this point, you're probably saying, Trevor, this is all you know, great and all, but how in the world are you going to make money with Pokemon cards? And you might have thought, and potentially are right, that Pokemon cards are collectible. So just like baseball cards and collectible coins, people do put value on these little cards. And they definitely put a lot of value on these cards. This little Pikachu with the balloons, that's really cute, right? Somebody just recently <coughs> purchased this card for $25 on eBay. That's pretty crazy. This little card, this little piece of paper, someone purchased for $25. So, at this point you also might be asking, all right, Trevor, how in the world do you know so much about Pokemon cards? In fact, it's kind of weird because the target demographic for Pokemon is six to 14 years old, and the last time I checked, you're a 27-year-old adult. Oh geez, guys, a 27-year-old adult, that's a bit better. Well, the reason that I know so much about Pokemon cards is because I love Pokemon. <laughs> and in fact, I've loved Pokemon for almost my whole life. Back when I was a kid, um, in the late 1990s, about nine years old, when Pokemon just came out and was popping, I loved it. I went around and I wore all the Pokemon stuff. I dressed as it for Halloween. I had as many Pokemon cards as you could possibly imagine. And, you know, for good reason. Pokemon was awesome back in the day. We had all my friends would go around and buy our Pokemon cards, we would trade them, we would talk about Pokemon, we would play the Pokemon games, and it was the best thing ever. I loved it so much, and I cannot tell you how much of my parents' money I spent on Pokemon games. <laughs> and I spent a lot of time buying these cards, and I had so many, and I would, you know, pull and pull and try to get as many as I possibly could, but it wasn't just about all the cards I wanted. In fact, who cares about those cards? I wanted just one single Pokemon card. That's all I wanted. It was my dream. I would sleep at night and dream of this card, nonstop. 
but I just couldn't get it. I couldn't find it. I looked and I looked and I looked. Eventually though, I wanted to get this card, this Charizard Pokemon card. You see, this was the most rare and the most powerful card of them all. With this card, I could beat all of my friends. I could be the talk of the town. Everyone would say, Trevor, you have the Charizard Pokemon card. That's amazing. I can't believe it. I want to be just like you when I grow up. <laughs> so, after searching forever and ever, long behold, I found the Charizard Pokemon card. Pretty amazing, you guys. Just thinking about it gives me shivers. So, as a nine-year-old kid, I got this card, and over time, I got older and things happened, but my love for Pokemon still stayed. I kept this card in pristine condition, and it amazed me when I checked and saw that this card was worth a total of $81 today. That's pretty cool. A nine-year-old kid was able to grab this card, a card that is a piece of paper, and is worth just $81. Pretty amazing stuff. And it, this um, increase in the price of Pokemon cards has allowed me as an adult to continue enjoying it. And let's stop there though. This is chump change. I want you guys to be money monsters with Pokemon cards. So let's add a little one on the side over here and grade the card. This card sold for $2,376. Pretty crazy stuff. Imagine a nine-year-old kid could have this card. But it doesn't stop there. Guys, we're not money chump monsters. We are money monsters. <laughs> this card, we're going to add a 10 on the top of here. So the best possible quality. This is not sold yet, but this card is on eBay. The lowest price I could find for $36,999 for one Pokemon card. So. At the end of the day, I hope that you guys now have just as much passion about Pokemon cards as I do, and that you can become a money monster. Thank you so much. Thank you.